approach at TIPNG has always been to work through improving systems and processes. We acknowledge the support from the European Union to our newest initiative, the Promoting Anti-Corruption and Integrity Strategies project. The EU delegation shares TIPNG's values of good governance, democracy and civic engagement, as evidenced by past collaborations to open Parliament of Citizens project and more recently to observe the referendum in Bougainville. In that vein, the overall objective of the PICE project is to strengthen the public trust in our state agencies. Over the last 20 years, TIPNG has been a champion of efforts that strengthen the work of our national integrity institutions. The PICE project bridges the current approaches to strengthening national integrity and the recently passed Independent Commission Against Corruption, ICAC. As such, TIPNG is seeking to empower Papua New Guineans by empowering our very own national agencies. This project is carried out in two phases. The first part is to upgrade the National Integrity Systems Assessment and the second phase will develop internal anti-corruption strategies for agencies through formal partnerships. The NISA is a holistic approach of assessing a country's integrity system by focusing on the law and the practice of each agency that is represented under a pillar of integrity. There are 13 pillars of integrity in the NISA. The NIS assessment will provide the framework and basis to work with these agencies to develop their own internal anti-corruption strategies as part of the second phase of the PICE project. Papua New Guinea is one of the countries worldwide with the widest gap between the wealth of the nation and the development outcomes for the people. Let's say the wealth of the nation and the poverty of most of, of the people. And the real reason behind, the main reason behind it is, is governance. Uh, we can also say lack of integrity, lack of transparency, uh, uh, corruption. We are really thankful for the, um, the initiative by TI because TI has been one of our strongest partners uh, in this space and they've been on this journey for the last 29 years. So we want to thank them for taking this uh, initiative with um, the current program that we're doing. Um, we really support it. We are behind it. The government will continue to uh, be part of the um, partnership with TI. Um, as the chairman of the social law and order uh, sector and also the chairman of the law and justice sector, I have already committed my two sectors uh, to be uh, actively involved in this, uh, in this process. It takes all of us holding our hands together to deal, deal with this issue. I can, cannot operate on its own. It really requires you know, collaborative approaches from everyone. So it is very crucial. I'd like to you know, take this opportunity to thank Transparency International who have been the backbone of the drive towards the fight against corruption and the establishment of the ICAC bill. So the PICE project, I'm pretty sure it is very crucial in a, in a sense that it will be a tool for us to you know, inspect or have a look at the, um, the systems of government, particularly the, the alignment of um, integrity, because integrity plays a very important role in our drive towards uh, the fight against corruption. Without integrity, then you know, it, it becomes an obstacle.